So we're going to go ahead and put these on. I've actually been looking for these for a while and I finally got my hands on them. They have different styles as well. This is actually a little bit more expensive. This one and the green one is my favorite one. So I wish I had a little bit more longer, but this would do. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my nails. Now keep in mind that when you are wearing glue on nails, you want to make sure that your skin is prepped, that your fingertips are alcohol white, like clean completely. The whole point of making these manis last longer is that you want to make sure that there is no bubbles on your nails. Now, it's a little bit harder to figure that out, especially when you have so much detail going on or they're not see-through because you can't really tell if you use enough glue or not. So it always varies depending on how long your nail is. Now, my nails, like this one's a little bit shorter, so with this one I would use a smaller dot. Then with these, I would probably use about two to make sure I have full-on coating. So it always depends on how long of a length your nail is, your natural nail really is. So we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and open this baby up. These are really beautiful, to be honest. I've, I was actually in shock that I even got my hands on this one. I like the fact that they come with their personal glue. I actually do use their personal glue to time to time. I only use a personal glue when I'm using the white ones or when I'm using clear. Other than that, I would definitely just use the little bottle that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one right over here. Okay, so what I love about this brand is that it not only comes with its own glue, but it also comes with its own the cleaning of your cuticles and as well as this little cute filing nails. I usually keep these and I use them only when I can't find this one right over here. So we're going to go ahead and first figure out which ones go where. The smallest one I always use a 13 or a 12 and then I moved on a size up or even two size up. Then it goes three size up and usually these two for some reason are the same sizes. So I try to go a size small on this one and a size larger on this side so it kind of coordinate a lot better. And then this one's I'm always like either a four or three. So on this size the highest that it goes is 11 which perfect Alrighty now, now that we have selected our nails, now you could always select whichever you want. If you want to use the glitter, um, you can definitely use it. I'm going to go ahead and just use all the blue ones and just stun with this one. I kind of wanted to stun with this one, but I don't see any size that's smaller on these. So I'm going to go ahead and just have to pass. Oh wait. Actually, I could go ahead and file these down. Okay, so I'm going to pass on these because I feel like I could use them in another set. And we're going to go ahead and just use this set, do it a little bit simple. I'm going to go ahead and file the excess that's around it because they're a little bit too big on some of them. Alrighty now. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and apply the glue. Now, usually what I like to do is I already like to have the glue on the item because it dries down so it gives it like tacky. So you want this to get a little bit tacky so it's easier to glue on. So we're going to go ahead and just add dots. So my tip when you're over here gluing the nail is that you always want to put it right at the edge. You don't want to put it in the middle or like on the top. You want to put it always in the bottom. So when you do apply the nail, you're going to start from the bottom and then push it so all the all the glue would go upwards and you would have no air bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some glue right in the center. Okay, this helps me with whatever's left to push it up forward. I don't like over gluing, but if you do, it's up to you. Definitely over gluing. Like I said, it's better than under gluing because then it, it you prevent bubbles and that's what we want to prevent. So going Pressing all the way down and then pushing upwards. 
and voila. All right, one hand down. Time to move on to this hand. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like cut this off a bit because it is a little bit unnatural looking. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that excess plastic. Just kind of shape it a little bit more. Honestly, like I really love mine's really sharp. Ready now, and this is how I do my nails. And yes, they do last for about two weeks, even longer sometimes. It depends on what I'm doing, but. Again, if you are working with oils, you're probably not going to get them as long as the two weeks. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And look at these are beautiful, you guys. These are freaking beautiful. Um, hopefully, this gender reveal comes out to the color that I'm using. And I'll see you guys in my next video.